Yo guys, how y'all doing today? My name is 75 back for another video. Guys, it's just a reaction video for me today. Um, I felt that it wasn't a great idea for me to do a, um, a preview of the, the game today. Uh, there's just been so much happen. Um, at Easter Road since Friday, I just felt you know there was there was too much to talk about. So, and also I wanted to see how the the team played today. Um, obviously, first match after suspension of Neil Lennon, I just wanted to see um, what kind of football we would play. And on the one side of things, I think you know it was a decent enough performance today. Obviously, walking away from a difficult place like Saint Mirren with a three-one one, um, it is really really good. Um, you know, equally, was it a great performance? Second half, yeah, it was a good performance in the second half, but first half we were terrible. You know, make make no difference about it. You know, we went one up top with Camberry, um, up on his own, and that made little to no difference whatsoever. Playing long balls, he couldn't couldn't control anything. Whitaker was poor in the first half. The whole defence for me was poor in the first half. I wouldn't have gave anybody pass marks for the first half, to be wholeheartedly honest. I just felt it was a really poor, um, really poor display. And, you know, I had said, you know, I put a, a thing on Facebook and Twitter and whatnot, which I've deleted because, obviously, I've ended up with egg on my face because of it. I just said that, you know, do we still feel that it's Lennon who's the problem on that performance? Now... I want to explain this. I didn't feel that. I still don't feel that Neil Lennon was a problem at Hubs. I just think that you know Chris Commons got it spot on when he turned in and said, you know, the Hubs players right now, you know, they're not going into a dressing room with Neil Lennon at half time. They know obviously that the the shackles were off in a, in a, in a sense, I suppose. So you know, performance shouldn't have been the issue today. And on the first half performance. You know, I mean, what what can you say about it apart from the fact it was pathetic? As I say, second half performance, much, much better. You know, we were winning balls. We were, we were looking to break a lot quicker. You know, we broke quite well in the second half. Scored three really good goals, you know. I mean, there's no, there's no taking away from that. But as I say, I just think that the... I just think that the actual... The atmosphere just now seems to have lifted a wee bit. We don't seem to be as negative, myself included. You know, we've got a huge match next week against Aberdeen. I have to be honest. Even if we play like we did in the second half, I'm not entirely confident about the game. You know, maybe we'll pick up for the second uh, for the the game against Aberdeen. I just don't know. I don't know how I am. How I'm feeling about the way Hibs are just now. Uh, I do feel that we need to get a manager in, like. ASAP. Um, who that manager might be, I don't know. Is the style of play going to change anymore? I don't know. Are the players going to be comfortable with the, the appointment? I don't know. Are they going to be confident with the appointment? I don't know. There's just so again so many questions that need answered that have just now, and I do believe that we haven't handled this situation the best way we could have, especially the club. I understand it's in the hands of the respective lawyers, so maybe. In terms of just confidentiality, they're not allowed to speak about things that are happening with Neil Lennon just now. I completely understand that, but I just think that as supporters and fans, the club should have been coming out and saying something other than Eddie May and Grant Murray are going to take the, the team for Sunday's game. You know, anything, anything for the club I think would have been good, but, you know, it's, it's not for me to say, but... Yeah, as I say, the next we we roll on to the Aberdeen game. Um, you know, it's anybody's guess how we'll play for that. It's anybody's guess how we'll get on with that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know. As I say, there's just too much that there's too much that could be said just now. There's too much going on in the background that to me is just is not great. But. Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the video there just now. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed my analysis of the game as much as I can, really. You know, obviously, when we're not going to the game, it's, it's quite hard for me to build up a, 
an analysis apart from the fact obviously watching it as well but obviously I know I'm not going to I know everybody's not going to agree with me and I know I'm not going to agree with everybody else but that's football for you it's all opinions uh, and as I say I hope you've enjoyed uh, my reaction to the game uh, if you've liked the video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section below as to where we go on for here give me your predictions for the Aberdeen game um, maybe you're starting starting 11 who would you start with the game would you start with the same team would you change it up a wee bit who's your, your money on for the next manager are the players in the right is Lennon in the right are the club right or wrong to do what they've done all these questions I'll, I'll, I'll fire at you guys just now and hope to hear your answers as I say stick a comment in the comment section below subscribe to the channel when I'm in at 75 click the bell, the bell icon beside the subscribe button that will let you know when I upload but that being said enjoy the rest of your Sunday uh, enjoy your work tomorrow I know it'll be difficult it'll be difficult for me as well but just let's see what happens enjoy your week guys okay bye